is up you guys good morning we have woken up here in Hent and it is a beautiful city we arrived here pretty much late at night so it was darker and it was a much different vibe here we've woken up right here with this giant uh, cathedral behind us which we're gonna go check out today as well as the rest of the city of Hent it's bigger than the one yesterday bigger than Bruges so we're gonna have a lot more and there's a lot of foods we need to try today as well Marine and I have woken up and we're just kind of chilling on this balcony. My clothes over there, they're still drying, they're still doing well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm excited to head out and explore the city. Got my really bad cup of coffee from the hotel room. Let's go. So we have started the day here in the main square of Hent and this is the uh, St. Babo's Cathedral. It is the huge cathedral that you can see from pretty much anywhere in the city. And right behind me what's going off is the clock tower, which is one of the coolest clock towers I've ever seen. And it's just like, you can see it right from our hotel room as well. So you can see all of this from our hotel and uh, you just got such a great view. So what's cool about this city of Hent is that it was kind of a medieval, medieval uh, town. And we're actually at this church right now, which was originally a Romanesque church, and then it was turned into a uh, Gothic cathedral later. And later when we head down this road, we're actually gonna be seeing this really cool castle, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to come here. You can go into this castle and it is like, it is like a typical medieval castle. And it's just in the city center here. We were just looking at this little structure and I don't know what the function of it is, but we saw people here yesterday and there was a guy playing violin under it and had some pretty good acoustics. So I feel like that's like its main function. <laughs> it's just really good acoustics, but, but other than that, it's pretty useful. Other than that, yeah, I don't know. They just kind of built it. And also yesterday, it was good to hide from the rain. Yeah. So that yeah. it does have two functions. It has two functions. <laughs> It does look kind of cool. Because it is a medieval type city, there's just a lot of churches and cathedrals everywhere. You know, we walked two feet and we've already come to this next one right here. Which, you know, they just look really, really cool. <laughs> now made it into the Belfry Tower of Hent. I thought Belfry was the name of the tower from Bruges, but apparently that's the name of the Bell Tower. And so that just is Bell Tower, and we're in the Hent one now. And it looks like we're in some kind of like crypt or tomb down here. And these look like kind of like guards protecting the dead maybe? I don't know. So it's a good thing we have Madan here because I cannot read this. But he, he just translated and said that these guys were actually on the corner of each tower and the one that's crumbling is the only one that was like the original and still remains. All the three were kind of made afterwards. But this one right here, this one is original. During the Second World War, this was also used as a command post down here. I didn't read that, but I read that. <laughs> he told me that. We're actually gonna head up now to the top of the bell tower. It's very similar to the other one. Hopefully not as narrow as the one in Books. But it does look cooler. It looks like a traditional tower, you know? So this dragon right here was the original one that was on the roof. And then this one right here is the second one that was put up in 1830 and taken down in around 1970. And then Maran was saying that there's another one on the roof right now and it spits fire at holidays? Yeah. And, well, I don't know if it does it now, but it was used to be uh, something to be at a holiday. No, not a holiday. At a, be a, like a king got married or something. Right. They, very special holidays. Very special holidays. This was going to spit fire out of the mouth right there. That's pretty cool. So at the top of the Belfry Tower here in Hent, you can actually walk in a 360 and kind of see everything through these columns. You can see the whole town around. It's pretty cool because it is one of the tallest towers here in Hent, and you can you can just see this whole city from here. I can see my house from here. <laughs> yeah, you can literally just lean over. How does that make you feel? I don't like heights. I don't like <laughs> Nope, 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 
so close to Amsterdam. What do you think? Who came up with the canal idea here first? Amsterdam, definitely <laughs> Amsterdam. It looks a lot like Amsterdam right here. And there's a, there's a lot of people riding bikes too. Yeah, it's true. Seems like a very similar vibe. They're copycats. <laughs> we have finally made it to the Graven Scene Castle. This was originally built in 1180 and then it was used up until about 1353 as a resident for the counts here in Flanders. And after that it became kind of a prison and a prison and a, what else was it? A courthouse, a prison and a courthouse this castle is used for. Uh, and now it's just a place, it's kind of like a landmark here in the center of Hent. Uh, but to think this is where, you know, counts lived and this is like kind of where they ruled over here in Hent. And we're gonna go inside. This is one of the prisons? Or it almost looks like a, it's probably a torture room actually. Yeah. It doesn't look comfy, I gotta say. The bed in the hotel was better. <laughs> but not by much. Not by much. <laughs> Could you imagine this, the ultimate back crack? <laughs> oh, it is. The first, this is the first chiropractor, I think. The first, the first like 10 <laughs> seconds, you're just like, oh, that's great. Oh, that's really and like, good. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> you can just keep going. Please stop. This is a medieval toilet. And... Yep. <laughs> imagine that. But I'm like on this one, I'm just like... <laughs> hey Johnny, how are you? Hey Jerry. How was the uh... How's your day? Good, good. I made a couple swords today. Oh shit. Did, oh. did you bring any uh, paper? Uh, no, did you? No. What do we do now? We use our hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we, can we get some paper in here? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Probably one of the best views of this city. So, if you're coming here, for about 10 euros, you can see the best city, best city, best city view. Yeah, I think that's the best. You can see all four towers out there. Really good view. You can see the the bridge and the waterway too. So when I was reading through the comments of the last video in Brussels, you guys recommended uh, uh, someone named Sene said. You should try Kuberdons or Nuzkis when you're in Hent. We're in Hent. I think we found it. This is, uh, it says Kuberdons on the side, so we're gonna we're gonna see what it is. I don't even know what it is yet. It kind of looks like a some kind of candy or sweet. I'm wondering what the Kuberdons are. Yeah, you want the explanation in, in English, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, yeah. You could, that'd be great. So first of all, the Kuberdon is uh, something we are very proud of. It's a regional product from Ghent. It exists okay. since 1873, and since a few years, it's a regional product. So the Kuberdon. As we say in Belgium, little nose, these are the little noses little nose. from Ghent, but the official name is Kuberdon, are made out of 100% um, pure food concentrate and Arabic gum. And Arabic gum comes from the Acacia tree. We take the Acacia tree from Sudan because it's the purest Arabic gum. Yeah. So we mix everything, afterwards we pour it in their forms, it goes into a hot room, it stays there 72 hours, and at the end it's soft. Oh, no, it's like that. And the inside is still liquid. That's because it's a very slowly processed. Oh, cool. it's, uh, it, w it was an invention of a pharmacist who put in the pills from the children and at the end all the children from Ghent went to that pharmacist not because they were <laughs> ill but because of the candy. So it tasted a, friend, good, yeah. a commercial friend of him said well I'm, I'm, I'm going to commercial these things because it's so good. It started all with the classical one. The classical one is raspberry and a little bit of violet, a little purple flower. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, because of the demand, we started with uh, the other tastes like lemon, orange, blueberry, and so on. You want the bag of the originals and yeah. then you want the bag of Yeah, oh, I'll right. do a bag of originals and a mixed bag too, please. And in the mixed bag, do you like um, licorice or not? Uh, no, I don't like black licorice, do you? <laughs> I do. Okay, well, well, we'll put some in. from Holland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Special Bobon Kuberdon. Bobon Kuberdon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. First one is raspberry and violet. This is the original uh, Kuberdon. Pretty. It's like a. It's yeah. like a gummy, almost. Oh, they are really sweet. <laughs> Look at that. I like it, but I think you can only have like one, of, one or two of these at a time. It's definitely not like a a movie theater snack that you just eat tons of, but you have you have them 
Maybe one at a time. Because they are very, very sweet. And they're really sticky. And they're really sticky. As you might be able to tell. This one looks interesting. Looks like cotton candy or something. Has a black liquor. Oh, this is better. <laughs> yeah. I'm done, so. I'm gonna try the uh, the cotton candy looking one. Oh my god. This one is really good. Are there any more of these? You gotta try this one. Yeah? I love this. I don't know what it is. It's like blue raspberry. I think the sugar was kicking in. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Yeah. Blues. Amazing. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Even better than the original, I think. All right, one more. Orange. Also really good. Really? Yeah. It's a really sweet orange. Oh. I like it a lot. I can't take any more. <laughs> it's hard to imagine there's even actually fruit in there. I know. <laughs> but it is. There's actually fruit in there. Surprisingly. If you're coming to Hen, go to Bon Boni Cooperdon. Her little cart is right. Her little cart is right next to the castle. Amazing, and she's the nicest woman. Walking around, there's a lot of places to get Belgian fries, and they're called frites, right? Frites. Uh, there's a lot of places. There's a lot of big like restaurants like that around the main square. But we wanted to try a little bit of a more local one, so we found a, uh, a smaller shop. It's just one guy who's running it, and I think we're gonna try and get some frites from there. Yep. It looks a little more local and authentic. I wanted to try some uh, Belgian frites, uh, kind of like the most traditional one. But uh, the stove is very uh, traditional. I actually asked what's the most traditional one, so we're getting uh, frites with mayonnaise and stove lace sauce. That's the stew I was talking about. Oh, that beef stew kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so that's the traditional one. I think so. Is it? Cool. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's do it. Frite Philippe. So what's the name of this one? Well, he's actually called Philippe. Yeah. And this is like the called the fries of Philippe. Friteur. Yeah, fries Friteur. of Philippe. The fries of Philippe. Yeah. yeah. So these are his special he's, homemade recipe. Yeah. And he's yeah. pretty. He, he seems to be pretty famous, isn't he? Yeah. Is, he's yeah. one of the most famous guys here. He is one of the most famous guy here. We chose good. We chose did. well. We did. Oh. Look at that. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. These are Philippe's fries. It's like a, this is a giant chunk of just meat on here. Mm -hmm. And some, and some mayo and some, it's, <laughs> there's so much you just want to grab with this little fork. Oh my God. You like it? That's amazing. It's like, it's really like having a beef stew fries and mayonnaise on top of it. It is really, really, it's, we need bigger forks, but it is really good. <laughs> we need bigger forks for sure. But man. Yeah. Belgian fries made right. I love them. A little hot. <laughs> A little hot though. So right here is where you can get the fries. And then, boom. Right here is where you can get those candies all around this square. We've explored the full day. Madine is actually driving back to the Netherlands. I'm about to take a, uh, like an hour long train back to Brussels now, and then that's where I'm gonna end it as well. So we're, we're heading off. Thank you, man. See you next time. Uh, I'll see you in like see a you week or show. two. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in a week or two in New Orleans. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head off now. Uh, it's been fun, Madine. It Until was. next time, man. It was really fun. Until next See time. See you next time, man. And the next video is actually me flying over to uh, New Orleans. I'm going to be in New Orleans for a little bit, and I'm going to be exploring around. So if you guys have any ideas of things you'd like me to do in New Orleans, let me know. Comment down below. I would really like to go on one of those uh, boat tours and see like the alligators in the swamps again. Those are always fun. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video of us exploring around Hent. And until next time, Rogue Nation, explore the world. Not for you. <laughs> Not for me.